So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week six. I do apologize that this video is a little later than usual, but I just got off work and I just completed the next portion of more than a weapon, which will go right after this video. I think, I don't know. We'll see. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really do appreciate it. But let's just get into it. So more than a weapon six, this one literally just complete uh, the story and you should be done by it considering I just completed more than a weapon six and I completed it right then and there. So this one's not too hard. Highest battleground five. This one, however, you're actually gonna have to go back in uh, at least six times to, so that way you can kill the death tongue choristers. Um, hopefully be there when they're trying to take it down because if, if not, then you're gonna have to do it again. But this one's not too hard, just more annoying. Also, the Seraph chests, unfortunately, well, fortunately, they do work retroactively because I have 27 uh, or 26, I should say. Well, I have 27 done now, but before I had 26. So if you're starting, this is going to be rough. But I mean, it's for me, the high battlegrounds are fun uh, enough to where it's not like terrible like the other ones. So for me, this actually won't be that crazy. I might just kill the three. Uh, right now maybe we'll see stuff to see what i have to do today uh service secret open hitting chest in the exotic mission operation serve shield this one i i guess i didn't open or just, i don't know we'll see uh because i i think i've opened pretty much all of them but I've, i'll go through it this one shouldn't be too hard just look up a video where it has all the hidden chests the cqc loadout Defeat targets with glaives, bonus progress for defeating guardians, defeat combatants in heist battlegrounds with melee panel blows. Not too hard, uh, you can just put a melee build on so to get this out of the way. The final blows with the glaives might be a little annoying considering glaives for me are not my favorite, but we'll see. Uh, absolutely stunning stun champions. This one's pretty cool. We'll go to which nightfall it is this week so that way I can see whether or not it'll be easy or not. But what I do is I just go into a nightfall one where it's no matchmaking and just stun the same one over and over until it's done. That's what I usually do because I don't have any patience to run multiple uh, like nightfalls to do it. Apex armor, masterpiece, a piece of armor, which is completely super simple. Like it's not even that hard unless you don't have material. But at that point, like it's not even it's not hard to get material at all either. So this one shouldn't be too hard. Just do a regular legendary armor set. You don't have to do like exotic. Uh, thank God. And then crucible ornament require the crucible ornament for the Velus X, which if you played a shit ton of Iron Banner last week, like I did, then you should be done by this by now. So I think too crazy for this one. I actually see what's up for uh, the Nightfall this week. Which one is it? Uh, Warden of Nothing. I think there's a champion in the beginning. Like in the open area, in the first area where you have to open the door. I think there's one there. If there's one there, it's going to be super simple, especially if it's like, uh, it doesn't even matter which champion it is. It's just going to be super simple. So I might actually just go in there and do that or just choose a simpler nightfall to do it. Either way, it's not too hard. As for Everest, this is actually my first time looking at Everest today because, uh, again, I was at work. Uh, okay, Brightless, you love to see it. Royal Treatment, I highly recommend you scoop Royal Treatment. This shader is super fucking dope. It's one of my favorite shaders. Uh, it's a good purple and gold. And yeah, I really like the shader. I don't really have to explain much to this one. It's super, super good, especially if you have the void inspired ar or void armor from, uh, was it Witch Queen? I think it was. I think it was Witch Queen. No. Yeah, it was Witch Queen. Um, if you have the Void armor, then this is actually the shader that that armor is uh, wearing. So that's also a bonus. We have Harpy Entrance. We have Brilliant Idea. Um, does it have like a, an exclamation point? Yeah, no. It has Rising Dawn. Oh, it's the sword. Does it? Oh, that's boring. Then we go to the bottom and this should be the first. Yep, it is the first week of uh, of the arc armor. I am definitely going to be doing some some example sets with the arms. I was thinking about holding the example sets until I got all of the armor, but that's too long and I just want to get that out of the way now. So each piece is going to have an ind individual piece. 
if for example the cloak is not or if the class item's not good for the titan and warlock but it looks really cool for the hunter then i'll make a dedicated video for that uh, i might end up just combining all of the example sets into one fat video so that way you can either watch the individual pieces or just the big one i might do both just because doing the individual ones you can see it within that when i make that new set and then the big fat one for people who haven't seen all of them but infinity door projection we have homesteader for genophage genophage for uh, xenophage which is pretty cool text mechanica i might pick this up just because we have a lot of cowboy stuff this season and this one would be really good to have um we have the dynamo current grips and the other ones for the other classes definitely going to pick this up for all of them the trust worked clipper which is a ship which looks okay uh couch nap I'm like tempted to pick this one up, but this should probably cost like 3,000. 700? I'm okay. I'm, a, I'm down. This one costs 3,000. Glaive Mistake, which is pretty cool. I kind of wish it didn't cost 3,000. It's also not that great for me to like actually use it. Uh, Butter Bark. This is a really terrible shader. I don't like it at all. It's the yellow, honestly, and the, the white here is also pretty terrible. A good uh, wood color if you want to go for that, but eh. we have iridescent coral, which is damn. This actually looks dope. Like actually, though, hmm. from season of the Undying. So these two are actually oh shit, Chidden Slate. Okay, so I actually would recommend you guys to pick up Chidden Slate. I know it looks garbage right now, like all the colors and everything, but this is like the only shader that i know of that actually turns off lows so i'll explain it uh, after we're done which we're almost done anyways war brick which is this is even older this is from season of the drifter which was a while ago this is a good shader if you want to go like me personally i love war bricks red unfortunately the red is like the off color most of the time so you'll almost never see it but when you do it looks really really good so i highly recommend people to pick the war brick it's a really good shader very slept on so that's pretty much it. Let me pick this up real quick. Um, and let me show you real quick. So I definitely would recommend people to pick that one up, the shader that I told you. Um, the, what's it called? This one right here, the Chidden Slate. It's really, really good. So this is where it's cool because Chidden Slate has this really cool effect on glows. It'll either turn off the glow outright or it'll turn the glow solid, which is super weird. So like this one for sure, you can see it's solid instead of an actual glow. Um, where's another glow? This one has glow, this one has glow. Uh, there's like, this one has a glow. Ooh, this is one of the rare few that actually does have the glow, but it's super, super minimal that you can't even tell, which is also really weird. Uh, so yeah, I would, highly recommend this just because it looks good and this one does have a glow as well this one makes sense though because it's really hard to make a glow hard or solid from this one considering this one changes so like this one should yeah there it goes so it turns like almost like a gen like a gemstone which is super super cool same thing for this one it actually looks it looks so weird so again i would recommend this one just because again it does change the the glow this one uh, the glow doesn't change color, so that's why it's unaffected. But like, let me show you one real quick. Where is this one? So you guys can see it actually turns it like almost like like glass. So definitely, definitely recommend it. It's super, super cool. Just because I you we don't have like any shaders aside from this one that does that. And like even this one, it looks. I don't know it looks it looks like it's glow like glow but it's not glow it almost looks like a stone but yeah let me know what you guys think definitely definitely super cool and see this is like really weird because it shouldn't have a white but yeah just wanted to showcase that uh i have a few things planned this week i have i'm finishing up the iron companion set for the titans and warlocks titans you're gonna have that tomorrow Warlocks, you will have it probably the day after or right after the Titan ones. I'm still not sure. Um, I will most likely start working on the exotic videos that I have. I will post a well, uh, a post on my community tab explaining which exotics I have currently in the list. 
and if you do want to steal if one of the exotics is in the list or if you want to kind of remind me like oh i made i asked for this not too long ago let me know in the comments below of the post or in this video either way so that way i can make sure it's on the list because uh yeah we'll, we'll go through them but yeah just be aware i haven't forgotten it's just that there's been so much content that i've been trying to keep up with like specifically that last the whole last of week or the whole last the whole of last week uh was pure iron banner and i was just trying to get the armor and trying to finishing up the the video and then the individual pieces video as well so this week hopefully or thankfully we don't have much to go with as in story wise and whatnot there's nothing happening either so this week i should start po posting some of them exotic videos because i have a lot so I yeah, appreciate the patience. I really do. And be safe. And I'll see you guys later.